Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. With me now is Laura Burton with the Kansas Children's Discovery Center. Laura. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. so much for having me today. Always a pleasure when you're on the show. Well, you know, we always have a lot of fun. Yes, yes, we do. So to start off, uh, please, what's new at the Discovery Center? Yeah, we don't want to bury the lead here. No, we are I, announcing I don't. I'm a so very excited to talk exciting about it. exhibit this morning mm -hmm. at the Discovery Center. Our fall exhibit is going to be Curious George, Let's Get Curious, the nationally traveling exhibit all about Curious mm -hmm. George, using science and math, engineering, exploring the stories, it is going to be so fun. I, I am incredibly excited about this. Exhibit. I am definitely excited about it. it obviously, I'm, I love playing all the all the all the science, all the math stuff. Yes. Like just learning more about Curious George. Yes. I grew up with them. I know a lot of my, my friends and people I know did. Yes. So I think it's going to be great to just kind of experience that one more time. That's exactly, that's one of the things I love about this exhibit the most is that Curious George is a beloved character that everybody knows, right? So I'm excited to have grandparents who used to grow up reading these stories mm -hmm. coming in and reading the new stories with their grandchildren and both of them being able to explore this really beloved, fun character together. That's one of the things I'm most <laughs> excited about about the exhibit. It. The other pieces I'm excited about are really the science that are that are built into this. You know, I think a lot of the, the more of the grandparents' generation and our parents might be more familiar with Curious George as like the monkey that just kind of causes problems mm -hmm. everywhere. Yes. <laughs> and in the news stories and in the PBS series, Curious George is really exploring and he's learning new things and he's getting into science and, and math and he's trying stuff out and seeing what works and what doesn't. And of course, a lot of the times things don't work. We know a failure is a part of the process. I need Curious George to trying. fix a printer or something for me. Yeah, you know, he might be able to muddle through. So there are a lot of simple tools built into the exhibit. Kids get to do a lot where they can explore pulleys and gears and levers and planes. And we're going to talk about one of those activities today. There are some cool experiences with light and shadow. So a lot of the exhibit is built around not only the stories and using the stories and the villages and the settings as a, a sort of a, a background for that, but also it lets kids get in and experiment just like George does, which is really, really fun. Wonderful. So, okay, so what do we have here? Now. Well, I've been, I'm dying to play with the cars. Yes, I know you want to play with the cars. So we have an inclined plane mm -hmm. here, otherwise known as a ramp. So this is one of the simple tools we teach a lot about at the Discovery Center. I know it seems so simple, but there's a lot of great science concepts you can capture with a ramp or an inclined plane. Um, and an inclined plane is really a tool that does two different things. Connects a lower point to a higher point, and it also makes less force required to move something. It's a lot harder to lift something this way than it is to pull something up. So a couple of cool things it does. And when we're encouraging kids to experiment with these things, I like to do it with the zoom painting mm -hmm. activity. Okay. So this is super simple. Here, why don't you, you've got some cars over yes, there. Okay. I'll give you some paint. We've got some sponges here. You can also roll it through the paint if you're feeling particularly bold. But I'm going to paint these tires. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to paint some wheels and get those really covered. Again, you can roll through at my house. Sometimes we like to contain it a little more at Discovery Center. We usually just let kids roll the tires <laughs> through the paint and it's really fun. And then we get to send our vehicles here down our inclined plane. I'm gonna help this one a little bit because it's kind of heavy and make these fun tire tracks. Watch us send it down. There you go. You can drop it. That one's that one's lighter. Yeah, let it zoom. Look, it even tipped over. So you have a different paint there. That is really fun. Kids would enjoy that. So we're making some art using some science. Let's see what this And when one you does. do this either at home or if you're at Discovery Center, we are going to be using a lot of different kinds of cars, different types mm -hmm. of wheels. I try to look for different types of vehicles. Here I've got my uh, kids' little taco truck here that I took out of uh, out of their car bin. But I, I, I thought that'd be fun to send a taco truck down. Oh, I like. Hey. So you're also having kids look critically at these wheels, different textures, different sizes. How are they different? How are they similar? What can I see about the tread when I send it down? There are all sorts of great science questions that you mm -hmm. get kids asking. Here, you want to do the oh, train? Yes, sure. Yeah, I thought you might. I was want to playing do with this one earlier, and I was I was sad you didn't bring a second one for the I magnet. I should have brought a whole line of trains. You know, you could really do a whole line of trains with this activity, and really, really fun. So you got a little bit of art, a little bit of science. It's a little bit of messy play. Um, the bigger you can make this ramp the more fun it will be for kids mm -hmm. so if you're doing this at home and you have like one of those rolls of paper or maybe a roll of wrapping paper just send them all the way down the living room yeah I would I see yeah we're I'm trying to keep control here because <laughs> I don't I don't want the, my you know a co-workers to be upset that I get paint on the floor yes but yes. that's the fun of it though it is the fun of it absolutely the controlled mess that you can make and I've got a tray here, here. that helps contain our cars a little bit but mm -hmm. you can see how much fun this would be for kiddos so it has all of the elements that I like there's a little bit of science a little bit of inquisitiveness 
a little bit of mess, and that is all what Curious George is about, right? Making a mess, asking questions, getting answers, experimenting with different kinds of tools. This is stuff that sets the stage for science learning later in life. If you've got kids asking good questions and making observations, seeing things like, well, this makes a bigger track, this makes a smaller one. This car goes faster, so it makes less track with a similar paint. These are awesome ways of getting kids to think about science, and it gets them asking much more complex questions when they get into middle school, high school, and of course beyond that, and become scientifically literate adults. All starts with basic experimental activities like our inclined mm -hmm. plane, and those are all over the place in Curious George, which opens September 19th. I was just about to ask, when does this open? When, well, I'll be there. I'm so the excited. Door. Yes, I want you in line right there with the kids, Dana, and I know you will be. You've been I'll there make, before my, in that I've spot. I've been there before. I'll, I'll yeah. have my Curious George stuffed animal with me. We'll, we'll have some good time. Oh, how many of us have those things at home? Yes, it opens September 19th. Curious George will be on site for meet and greets that morning, which should be really, really fun. I know. I know you're excited, Dana. So much more you have to wait just a little bit longer, but not long. September 19th, and the exhibit will be open all the way through January 7th, 2024. So people will have a nice long amount of chance to see and experience this exhibit and come multiple times. It's all included in a regular admission, and it will be tons of fun. Ah, oh, cannot wait. Laura, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank this has you. been a blast. And of course, everybody, to learn more, you can go to kansasdiscovery.org.